this has to be the stupidest thing I've ever done. What the f What the f is that? Oh, oh, oh. So how did I get here? Well, it all started when I decided to search Skibbity on Steam. And I ended up finding six Skibbity games that I could actually play. So I decided, why not spend an entire day testing every single one of them? All to answer one question. What the f*** are these gonna be like? Skibbity Toilet Hero. Very positive reviews. $2.81 Australian. Now, before we get into the game, there's one thing we need to know about it. Uh... It apparently has a sex mod. So I decided to check the reviews. I played the whole game and didn't see any sex. They said there was going to be sex and it's not there. Common Ubisoft, fix your game. So honestly, I didn't really know what to expect, but whatever. I decided to trust this review and get into the game. Okay, I got this weird camera shake. I, I've never seen a game where they hold the gun at a slight angle. Okay, we're in. Okay. I love how it just goes back to the car music. And after playing this game for like 15 minutes, I quickly figured out what this game was. It was a Doom clone with toilets, glitches. What? That was hitting me? Weirdly designed jump pads. Okay. Oh, we got it. Oh. Huh? And you can't forget the sex shop, bro. And despite getting new weapons. Oh, new gun. Okay. Oh, and we can, we can swap huh? to it. I was starting to lose faith in this game. Down. Well, I, don't, I feel like I've got more to kill before I jump down, but... Hey, whatever. Oh, God. We're in the back rooms, guys! But then I started to notice something. Look, we got some variety now. I felt like the game was actually getting better as the game progressed. Boss? What is happening? I'm dead! Oh, I just did it! Oh, there's a boss one as well in the sky! What the hell?! There's so many boss ones! Yeah, this might be it. This might be the final area. There's just sh everywhere on my screen. Damn, there's more to this game. Yeah, the game wasn't over at all. All that happened was the toilets just got bigger. Oh my, what the? And just when I thought the game couldn't get more intense. Oh my God. They gave me a freaking RPG and more enemies to kill. I eventually started actually enjoying the game. So much so that I got all the way to this big yellow tower. Okay, is this a house? Can we go inside the house? Oh. Okay, the church toilet. <laughs> we had stumbled upon the final boss. And to be fair, it was a little bit hard. No, no, dude, this is hard. And after defeating all its phases, I finally did it. There we go. We did it. But there was still one question left on my mind. What the hell is this mod? It's mod level one, last survivor. Is it, is this a survival game now? While it did look similar to the base game, let me tell you, they changed a lot about it. To prepare to get press control to dash. Bro, what happened to this game? so peaceful and friendly and fun. Somehow the game was actually more fun now. <laughs> There's a big BDSM toilet. <laughs> it was a bit more difficult. I can't believe I'm... No! <gasps> and then there were the new enemies. That's tough, bracket. What the hell's that? What the f*** is that? It's a ghost skibbity toilet BDSM. I found myself enjoying the game so much I got myself all the way to the final level. So instead of a church, now there's just a huge ass building. The music's going crazy, here we go. I don't know what to expect. Okay, this is completely different to the first. And after getting stuck on one jump for literally 20 whole minutes. My birth buttons. No, I bro, you cannot get there. We got to an elevator and I got to meet the official final boss of the game. This must be the final boss of the entire game. It's the camera, camera woman. Okay, that that's it. Despite me knowing I had five more skibbity games to play today. Oh no, oh, I'm nearly dead. I beat the entire skibbity toilet hero game. I did it!
Recommend the game. A little bit buggy, but has potential. 3.5 stars. Skibbity Escape from Toilets. Mostly positive reviews. $7.50 Australian. Now on this one, the reviews were very mixed. On one end, you have people saying, best Skibbity experience there is. And on the other end, not a good game. False advertisement. Don't get. And this guy says it is a good game. Regardless, considering how fun last game was, I was kind of hopeful going into this one. Ooh, cutscene. What the hell is that? Skibby, skibby. They're even here. So honestly, even though it was a bit cringe, I was genuinely surprised how good the game was looking. Okay, back rooms, pool, bridge. So there's multiple levels. Let's go medium difficulty and start. I have a little flashbang. I have a flashbang. And I have an E. This game is horrendous, bro. This one's way worse. Bruh. No, dude. So after a good 20 minutes of literally this. Oh, 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 oh. I figured out the sole objective of this game. Avoid toilets. No! And collect all the toilet paper to proceed to the next level. Got it? Nice. Okay, eight more to go. And after grinding, getting all the toilet papers, I finally got to see what happened. Nice. Nice. Yes. We flushed it. I don't know if I can, I don't know if I can get through this. Now at this point, I probably should have just quit the game and moved on to the next one. But what stuck on my mind was how good that cinematic at the start was. And after discovering that there was a tech that could actually kill the toilets. No. Oh, I flushed it. I decided I'll grind out the next five levels just in case there was something special at the end of this game. But doing this grind wasn't easy. What the fuck? While each level had a different layout, like this train level where you just get off at random stops. Oh my god! It ended up always being more frustrating rather than fun. Look how slow it's going. Look how slow we're approaching those two toilets. And after 58 minutes of total game time, I got to the end. Don't tell me we're going to glitch and not make it. That's it. We beat the game. And all it was was a message from the developer. Two stars. Skibbity Toilets Invasion. Mostly positive reviews. $7.50 as well. This game for me was definitely the most interesting. It was the biggest download out of all the games. And on top of that, bro, it has 50 hours. 50 hours in this game. So you know I was excited for this one. Sure, this one has an actual tutorial. Let's... Let's do the tutorial. Similar to last game, it started with a really cool cinematic. But the minute I got in game, I knew instantly this one was going to be way different. Okay. Okay. Look, we have an actual game now. This looks really good. And despite still being in the tutorial, the game kept surprising me. Okay. Oh, that's cool. That feels good. That feels like a gun. Unironically, the gunplay feels good. So I continued through the game, still a bit sus on if the game was going to be actually good. And let me tell you, there's nothing that could have prepared me for what I was about to experience. Okay, unlock for 50. Okay, so it's like it's like COD Zombies. You can buy it. Oh, we have a wave. I don't know. This oh, that teleports. Oh my God, it is gory. Bro, you blow their heads off. And we got two music? I couldn't believe it. Finally, some action in my life. I was actually enjoying myself in a skibbity toilet game. And after playing the game for about 10 minutes, I realized this game was pretty much a Call of Duty Zombies clone. It had a mystery box with a bunch of different weapons that you can try and item pickups that pretty much did the same thing. Is this new camo? Yeah, same as COD. So after learning how the game functioned, I decided to end the level. And to my surprise, the game got even better. It had a full-on leveling system that lets you upgrade your character and its abilities. And on top of that, it always found a way to surprise me. Okay. New gun. That's good, because that collapsed, bro. That just killed four of them. And just when you thought it couldn't get more weird and wacky. What is going on? There's a story. Where am I? <laughs> 
like, yeah. But despite all this, it still was missing just one thing. Bro, I need to play this game with Bam. The game was single player. And I don't know if it was just because I've been playing Skibbity games by myself for the last three hours. But for some reason, I just started feeling lonely. Regardless, I eventually end up encountering one of the weirdest bosses I've ever seen. Whoa, okay. Boss. What the f*** is that? And no matter what I tried, I just couldn't kill it. So I decided to leave it there. Overall, for a game that I got for like four bucks, definitely recommend this one. Four stars. Skibbity Toilet, Skibbity Boom. Mixed reviews, $8.79 Australian. Now, out of all the games so far, this one looked the worst. Most of the reviews were negative. I wouldn't recommend buying this game in for the memes. The trailer is misleading. And on top of that, it's meant to be a multiplayer FPS game. In a 30 days, 0.9 players have played this game. I mean, how bad could it be? Here we go. Oh! The game was horrendous. It was a team deathmatch Counter-Strike clone, but instead of terrorists and counter-terrorists, it was cameramen versus toilets. Like, I actually think we can just... Oh! Shotgun! So to give this game a fair review, I thought the right thing to do would be to invite a friend to play. But first, I had to test the guns. Starting with the sniper. I can... Huh? That, that's, blo the wall's blocking that. How is that not killing him? I am sure. Oh, shit. And just as I was about to rage quit the entire game, one more weapon caught my eye. Oh, do I need to know what Titan is? Am I, what do I look like? Can I get it? Can I leave spawn? Yeah, I'm not forcing my friend to play this. One star. Only up skibbity. Not enough Steam reviews to have an actual review score. $4.50 Australian. So while this was the only review for the game, this game was made by Satan himself to make God lose his love for humanity. At least this game was clear what game it was trying to rip off. Only up. So I had some expectations. Okay. <laughs> you can actually finish this game. Like for one, the game should be a little bit janky. That's what made Only Up so hard. But this game took it to a whole nother level. Okay, skip. We can... <laughs> Bro, what am I climbing right now? What am I climbing half the time? It was so bad. There's just no way you could have fun. Bro. The best part of the whole game was when I was trying to climb this ladder and I accidentally hit the change character button. I can change my model. Can be this one. Okay. Look at me! What happened to my shoulder? Even though the shoulder is absolutely cursed, it works. But this just didn't last that long. Wait, there's nothing to grab! There's nothing to grab! There's nothing to grab! And after playing Skibbity games by myself for four and a half hours straight, like, my brain in real life is rotting. I was ready to move to the final game. This game. Honestly, I don't even want to rate this game at all. Skibbity Backrooms. Mostly positive reviews. $2.95. So out of all the Skibbity games on Steam, we come to what should be... The best. This is the only one with an actual player base. And this was a little exciting because at this point, I just wanted to play a game with someone. I'm in that lobby. And just as I was adjusting my audio levels, they kicked me. They kicked me. But maybe that was just an accident. Let me try one more time. F*** off, you stupid f***. <laughs> So I went to Discord and I noticed Bam was on his phone. Cause you can't play skibbity backrooms with me, man. Listen, you're in need. I'm down to take this risk. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> um, <laughs> well, if I look down, okay. Um. So off we went to the first level and we figured out something pretty early on. I wanna jump down and see what's down. <laughs> Surely. Yeah, if you die, you cannot respawn. And after getting chased around for about 10 minutes. Oh, oh, oh my! We're stuck, we're stuck, we're actually stuck. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> hell, man! Run. What have you done? <laughs> we worked out that all we needed to do was input these numbers scattered around the room into this door. Is, what is that? What is that? Are these heads? Give me heads inside the. <laughs> Why are they move? Oh, oh my, my god! god. Oh my <laughs> Holy sh! And after some tense moments that nearly made us restart the whole level, we made it through. Yeah!
Yes! <gasps> and with three levels remaining, we decided to invite another friend, Bam's partner, Anarchy. Like, when you look down, you don't look oiled up. But when I look at you, you look like you've been, like, slathered in grease. So we were ready for the next level. And this time, it was a little different. Wait. Oh. Uh, why is it red? 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 What? I'm dead! What the? <laughs> and after a couple failed attempts, we figured out what was happening. Oh, I found a safe spot. Safe spot. <laughs> safe spot. Oh, we're so fucking boring. <laughs> <laughs> we eventually found a door which led us to this weird looking box. Wait, you, are you holding it? What's in here? Put the oh, box in here. Wait, wait. Wait, wait, it went wait, yellow. We stumbled upon the camera room, and that's when we realized. Oh my god, that no, there's four boxes, dude. There's four boxes, and they go on those. And then after spending 20 minutes finding all the boxes, mm. nice. It, does it work? We realized the oh, puzzle no. was broken. So we decided to do a little Googling. And we realized that the boxes and plates were meant to be colored. Dude, you know what's annoying? I think the texture's broken on it. But I didn't want to just give up there. So I decided to try brute force the puzzle. Wait, did you try? Wait. No way! We beat the level. Oh, no way! We got it! We... <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! But our enjoyment was only temporary. You see, the next level was just a bunch of doors and... Freddy Fazbear. <laughs> no way. There's no way. Freddy <laughs> that's, a stolen, that's a stolen asset. <laughs> On top of that, there was just this slender man that would just get in your way. Now, let me call uh, my dear. Uh, <laughs> oh, and now that this... Freddy. Get out of the way, man! And after grinding all seven Freddy bags, we finally got to proceed to the final level. And at this point, my mental's completely shattered. So when this happened... Just bolt for it. Yeah, wait, this exit. Right, well, Easy. I've been caught because <laughs> no, you guys went ahead without me. Yeah, you guys around. went ahead without me. I just didn't care. Friends didn't matter anymore. Ending this experience was more important. Are you guys going to be able to leave without me? <laughs> that was it. That was it. That was oh it. Oh, my that God. Don't buy this game. It literally ruined my friendships. Three stars. Can I oh ask while God. we're walking back mm -hmm. home? Why are you playing a bunch of uh, Skibbity games? I just looked up Skibbity on Steam and I was like, there's six Skibbity games. I'm going to play them all.